The balloon's journey will show us why the Earth's spin has such a strong influence on the atmosphere. We've attached a GPS transmitter to track its journey, and four cameras will record everything the balloon sees. We've finished setting up now, and hopefully this is the last this camera will see of the ground for about three hours. See you when we get back. So it's gone. This little, I can still see it, just about tiny speck in the sky now. To begin with, the balloon goes pretty much straight up. This is what you'd expect because the atmosphere spins with the planet. But then the balloon starts to move sideways. We're going to follow it. The balloon is being carried away from us. This reveals a crucial fact about the atmosphere. Although it spins with the Earth, the atmosphere isn't completely locked to the surface. It's actually a fluid, so it can move in different directions at different speeds. Today, the balloon is being pushed east. We're driving at 50 miles an hour, yet it's still racing ahead of us as it continues to climb. It's like a children's party game on an enormous scale, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the balloon is now at 20,000 metres, twice the height at which airliners fly. It's nearly midday, but the sky is black. I think the balloon right now is up near the top of its trajectory and up where it is there's very little, very, very low air pressure. So about 95% of the atmosphere is below where this balloon is. And because the pressure is so low, the balloon will have expanded to about three times its initial diameter. But that is about as much as it can take. 